What's going on, you fadoodles? Oh, Captain Do, you shouldn't have. Let's send you, let's send you a penis, dude. Hold on. I was gonna make a video, but let's let's do this first, boys. All right, guys. So, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. We're gonna talk about smoke. I don't think smoke is a really. It's not common knowledge yet. Not everybody knows how to use it. It's a new new thing in the game, and it takes some time to figure it out. That's why I haven't made this video yet. That's why I'm making it now. Um, I've used it in a tournament or two, and I think that that competitive play has taught me how to use smoke properly. Smoke is just one of those things that like, you don't really need to use a ton, but when you use it, it's super effective. So... <sighs> Now, there are two different types of smoke launchers in-game. There is your gun, which can shoot a smoke grenade, or there are actual grenades, little launchers, which are right here on your tank. Every single tank has it the same way. No, I'm kidding. Um, but they're, they're little launchers. You can look out for them on the actual vehicle themselves. I hear on the Leopard, it shoots eight, and they go boom, 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 and they make a half-moon shape around your tank. Um, the Leopard isn't armed with the smoke shell, but we have some tanks in the game that do have smoke shells, like, for example, well, the Chieftain has one, I don't have it unlocked for the Chieftain, and the Centurion Mark 1, I, I use it all the time. So, I'm going to play some games and show you in the background perfect situations to use smoke shells. Um, I would, I would suggest you use your dispensers. When you need to cover a large area very quickly, these dispensers launch and pop smoke super fast. With your gun, you have to reload the smoke shell into the barrel before you can shoot it. So it obviously has a time. You have to ditch your normal round. You have to load the smoke shell, or you have to start with the smoke shell and then switch to a normal round, which can lead into some sticky situations when you're moving into battle. So I'm sure a lot of people are hesitant to use the smoke shells from the main cannon because you have to switch to them, so it might take a long time. Um, they're still good, though, and they both have different purposes, so I'll show you why. And, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my test range of Berlin. So here we're going to talk about the only appropriate time, well, most of the only appropriate times to use smoke, along with a little bit of uh, just, just you know, letting you know what's going on uh, with the smoke dynamics. I'm getting bombed. All right, let's let's settle down. So smoke is appropriate in a couple of situations. The first being advancing and uh, retreating from a situation. Mostly use smoke shells for this. That's that's what I use them for because you can place them wherever you want. When you use your G smoke, press G, and um, they pop around, you don't really control where they go. They go in a half moon shape. Let's say I want to advance to A right now and there could be enemies shooting at me. Um, I'll pop a smoke tank on that. I'll pop a smoke on that tank. I could shoot that building right there and just obscure the line of fire that they have from me so I can get on to A. So I'm using it kind of as just like a smoke screen, what it would be intended for. Uh, shooting objects in front of you is a good way to get your smoke shells to pop at a certain distance. So instead of trying to hit the ground over there, I'll just shoot that tree. And they'll bounce off the tree and cause a smoke. I could probably hit one off the scaffolding right here if I'm worried about it. Just pop one onto that scaffolding. It'll hit the scaffolding and break. And um, that's basically how I would use it. Now, if I'm retreating, I can use it in the same sense where I'm just dropping it where I need to go. These AIs are fucking annoying, let me tell you. Um, so, you know, if I'm retreating, I got to get out of this situation. I would, you know, pop a smoke in front of me, get out of the situation. Now, when you're retreating, another good uh, way to use it is if you have smoke dispensers on your tank, you can use the smoke dispensers to cover your retreat as well because they'll throw up a pretty wide smoke screen around your tank man these ai's are fucking annoying holy shit um okay second thing is when you're repairing now you want to repair but you're getting attacked like i am by a bunch of different planes and whatnot throwing up smoke can help you repair so let's say i get tracked right here and all the enemies have a line of sight on me i just press g launches my smokes in a half moon shape I can either back up if I have to repair my turret so I can move. 
Um, that's part of the suggestion for you guys. If you have to repair a turret and you can still move the vehicle, I would move it after popping smoke just in case anybody who was looking at you prior to you popping the smoke doesn't act like doesn't hit you by shooting the same spot. If you back up a little bit, they'll probably shoot where you were and miss. So uh, that's just a little rule of thumb. So those are pretty much the only situations I really use smoke. You can use smoke to help teammates out too if they're repairing. If you notice somebody, uh, just go shoot their tank with smoke. When using it to cover up enemy concealment, uh, like let's say you see an enemy sniping at you, it's an IS-6, you can't penetrate them. Shooting the enemy tank with smoke obscures their vision 100%. Shooting in front of yourself obscures the enemy's um, vision on you unless you have some sort of viewport. So I, I have to go f through the archives. I don't know if I'll be able to show this, but trust me when I say if your tank has an IR sight, like an infrared dial uh, kind of thing, like the Panther 2, for example, you know the big night vision lens, uh, that will be able to be seen through smoke. It's a game mechanic bug. So if there's a smoke right here, and an enemy's looking at me through that smoke. He will see a reflection off of my upper chassis where that half, where the, the flip, I think it's a, um, a sun kind of visor that flips up for the driver. But that uh, radiates a kind of glare through the smoke. It, it's like an engine physics bug. And um, they haven't fixed it yet. So until they fix that, just keep in mind that enemy tanks might still be able to see you unless you shoot them. Because if you shoot the enemy tank with a smoke grenade, or smoke shell, um, they are completely blind. So, if I'm looking over here, let's see if it works with that. So, if I'm, I, I shoot a smoke shell over there, it didn't work with that, but I can't see through the smoke, right? But I still can see my surroundings. The difference is, when you shoot an enemy tank with smoke, it would be like this for them. They get hit with the smoke, they can't see anything around them, not even behind them. They are completely covered. So they have to either back up or drive through that situation, and when they drive through, you get the first sight on them coming out of the smoke. So just keep that in mind if you are in an engagement and an enemy that's too strong for you um, is attacking you. Just pop the IS-6 with a smoke shell, and they won't be able to see at all. And you shouldn't be able to see them either if they don't have any IR sights, but they'll have to push through the smoke anyway, giving you an extra shot up on them. Now, I know that's not a end-all be-all, but... It's just an idea. So that's some of the tactics I would use with smoke grenades. You can clear routes, like I said, push areas better than you no would normally, um, cover retreats, cover your repairs, and that's basically it. Capping, too. Um, so capping kind of falls in line with the repairs thing. Um, I like to use my G grenades, my canisters, when I cap. I just move on to a cap, pop a bunch of uh, the smoke grenades, and then hide on cap so nobody can see me in the cap and I can cap pretty safely. So uh, that's pretty much it. I know there's not a much in gameplay for this but I think this was a much needed video. Now for the next one I'm going to be taking a look at the Tiger 2's um, what's it called? Smoke canister which is pretty unique in terms of the game. It gets one shell. Six shells per one shot each time and it comes out of a mortar on top of the turret which is interesting so you can shoot six individual volleys of smoke and they go in front of you it's kind of like a pre-made smoke shell which is pretty cool so i'll definitely be playing that and showing that off but until then i hope this inf uh, information helps you if it does let me know in the comments down below if you guys are enjoying your smoke shells also let me know in the comments down below i think it was a good addition to the game and the tiger one has them now too which is pretty cool so just you know, the fact that they're still adding smoke shells for certain tanks is great. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Peace. Better pill keep throwing you back. Nothing but empty sugar, no high just crash. Tongue got me numb. I lose the words to tell myself how much you hurt.